Hello everyone, welcome to Coffee Query. In this video, I will show you how to work around HTML SSE or HTML server send even. Server send even allows us to stream events from the server to the client. You may have uh, a system, uh, uh, a notification system or messaging system in, in your application. SSE will help you with that. Okay, let's start. Uh, for working with SSE, you need to have uh, uh, a server, local server. You may have a static server or uh, as a test server or ZAMP or MAMP in your uh, system. They should be installed. So in my case, I have installed already uh, ZAMP in my computer. Let me start that. Yeah, and once it's in a start, go to the ZAMP folder, htdocs, create a new folder, name it SSE. Okay. Inside the folder, open uh, code. Okay. Uh, here I will create a file, name it index.html and another file sse.php okay and index.html file type uh, html Five and enter. Okay. And inside the body tag, I will have a h h one tag. Server. I will server send a event. Okay. I will. Uh, define two buttons one is starting the event and uh, another one will stop sse okay button start on click i will call a function name it start and stop And below here, a brick and a div with the ID of output. Yeah, the list of events will be showing right over here, okay? And then define a script tag. Inside the script tag, I have a, a variable named source. And here I have a function called start and another function is stop inside the start function uh, first uh, you need to check your browser uh, whether supporting the uh, the SSE or not if Uh, type of type of event source not equal to undefined if it's, it, if it is not it, if if event source is undefined it means your browser doesn't support okay I will initialize the source sorry my variable is not as I want it. Okay. Is equal to new new event source. Event source require a parameter. This parameter should be the URL of your server. 
okay so in my case it's it's local and and the file uh, exists in the same directory so um, i can put simply sse.php but if you are accessing your server remotely then you should pass https and uh, site name.com slash uh, anything okay for me it is sse.php once you initialize we have so oh, sorry uh, source dot on message is equal to a function this function has an event and then i have to access the output element document dot get element by id the id is uh, output dot inner html is equal to is plus equal to the event dot data should have a brick here okay uh, if even source is undefined else i will say uh, document dot get element by id and output dot inner html is equal to say sorry your browser does not support okay that's it you can stop the event typing source dot close okay mm, console dot lock event close that's all for the for for javascript part then we go to server site open a php tag uh, php uh, here okay this two header is required in the server side to be uh, written and now we just uh, define a time variable that object and we just echo the data server time is sign time okay and then we just flash but remember to prefix your string with data if you do not put this data here it will not work yeah now go to the let me check yeah my server is running and if i open chrome localhost uh, sse index dot html okay let me open the the console uh if i start yeah server time is wednesday 2nd june 2021 1951 yeah this is yeah it, it it works thank you for watching if you like this type of tutorials please subscribe to this channel to coffee query 
and I will make more videos like this. Thank you. Bye.